So, okay, so once again, everybody, that was topic number two. We have an after show. If you have an opinion on it, call in. All right, moving on to the uh, third topic, uh, which this went viral uh, with B. Simone, the comedian B. Simone, manifesting love challenge. Um, basically, she was saying um, women, mostly women, we have this list of we want this and a guy, this, 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 but we're not able to provide that or be that or when we do find a guy that, possesses the things that we do have on our list we're not equipped for him we're not made for him we're not we can't do what we need to do for him you know I don't um, think that's the case. so man who would like to start i was just gonna say i don't think that's the case like i understand so i i agree with everything b simone said but just to what you said just now i don't feel like we as women well, let me not write, say that. Write out a list of what we wanted no, to No, no, not a list, but I was just going to say, I don't, like, oh, I can't speak for everybody else. I know for me, like, in my mind, I'm not, I'm not going to be listing or in, not, maybe not even writing it down, but thinking, oh, he has to have this, he has to that, have that, have that, and I'm yeah, not I where I need to be. Like, I want somebody who compliments me or going to make me, or is going to make me better, so I'm not going to list these three, five, ten things that I want in a guy, and I don't measure up to what I'm looking for. Like I, I don't think that's just smart to do that. So you saying so? You saying common sense wise, you shouldn't even do that. Right. Yet. I was just gonna say, yeah. yeah. So and I, I feel like I feel like the women or women or whoever does that, like that's somebody that's look, probably looking for a way out. That's probably somebody that's, they're looking to be saved. That's, yeah, that's how I feel. right, right. They're in a certain position and they're looking for somebody yeah. to come save them. I feel like if you are in that position, like you really do need to look internally and figure out what it is that makes you feel like you need this other person in order to get out your situation because it's like you need to want to do better for yourself first. So I would never like have all these expectations if I know that I can't that I'm not there or I, I don't have somebody to meet me there. Like, and I feel like that's a lot of women. Like, I don't even understand. Like, I don't think a lot of women do that. Like you'll get some women oh, no. that. <laughs> they do. No, I feel like, I feel like overall, yeah, I feel like overall, like the women, the women, let's just say regular women or even women that, you know, we start with regular women and people who are more, you know, I don't know, advancing like their life. They got their stuff together, whatever. Those type of women are not so like, I feel like if a well-established woman is saying, I need this, I need this, and I need that, nine times out of 10 is because she already has those things. So she's already set the standard because I've already gotten to this level. Why would I want somebody to come into my life that's not going to add to it, but bring me down the level? Like, it's like now I've, I've, I've worked on myself. I healed my traumas. I'm, I'm good with my relationship. I want something healthy. Why would you want me to say, oh, you know, everybody ain't on that level. So just because some people not on that level, I have to stoop down and just say like, okay, I got to accept this now, even though I'm already advanced from that level and want more. I feel like well-established people are not just naming off stuff that they don't have themselves. Courtney, what was you going to say? I forgot it. <laughs> <laughs> you need a notepad. <laughs> Yeah, she does. She does need a notepad. Because by the time, <laughs> even right now. <laughs> but y'all see what I mean? Like I don't know. Y'all y'all tell me what y'all I mean. Think. You know. No, I agree with exactly what you said. Like it's common sense for us to think that you know you're not going. You shouldn't seek what you don't you know have, or you shouldn't require what you can't bring to that table. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think that's that seems like common sense to us. But like Daniel was saying, like I think a lot of women. A lot more than we realize want it that way. Yeah, it's, it's a like, lot. It's a lot more women that that you you know. Like what, what type of things? Like what? Like name some stuff. Like name some. It's stuff literally, that you, literally. He don't got to be rich, but he got to be financially stable. Like like what be like what be be Simone says. Like you want a man that's financially stable, but your account is in the negative. To me, that sounds like you want to be saved. To me, that sounds like okay, you want me to pay your bills because you can't pay your own. You know what I'm saying? Like. T.I. said it best. A woman that asks for nothing should get everything. A woman that asks for everything should get nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like, what do you have for... I guess that had to do with what we were talking about last week, too. Like, what, what do you have for me? You know what I'm saying? Like, this is what you want. This is your list. But do you have this? Are you financially stable? To, or is your credit A1 so we can go look at a house? Or does the house got to be in my name, too? 
You get what I'm yeah. saying? The more you ask, like, you got to put more on the table too. You can't just be and asking. I, and I, exactly, exactly. Yeah. And that's where the that's where the and I think women try to use the fact of the man that should be the breadwinner as an excuse to not bring nothing to the table. Come on, Daniel, you're preaching. So <laughs> what happens? <All> right. <laughs> <laughs> well, that just came to me. So and and, and a lot of times, like. That's where, cause I, I was watching another podcast and the girl was like, I feel like I, you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like a man should be the provider, hundred percent of the provider. I can do, I can do the other things. I get what you're saying, but at the same time, what other you things? Know what I'm saying? What other right. You know what right. Saying? Like, so basically yeah. it still sounds to me, you're looking to be saved. Yeah, like, and I, and, and oh, I yeah, hate to say she it. Like, she got to be like cooking, cleaning, you know, sex, everything without, without no objections. If, if I'm doing all that, it shouldn't be no question. Like it shouldn't be no. Oh no, I'm not in the mood right now. It shouldn't be none of that. I'm doing all my job. What are you doing? You feel me? I'd rather have a job versus be a, at a. a well, guy and my, girl, me too. And that's my thing. Saying, that's my thing. Too much. I so, okay, joke I about to, it and just be like, who told women we had to work? But low key, like I would not like doing that. Like I would. Yeah. It's it's easy. All you gotta do is 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 what cooking a, a meal. That's, that's fine. The it's the it's the extra shit. It's the. Well, Seth? I mean, if you start oh, having kids, like you, you I lose yourself all the time. But his, so here's Dude, my that's question: part of, that's a lot of times you gotta do that. But here's my question: when it comes to that, when you said Ashley, when you said, oh, I'm sorry, go ahead. That Courtney, no, 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 go ahead. Courtney forgets. <laughs> go ahead, yeah, I'm gonna say, go ahead, go ahead. I don't think any of us here are the type of women who just don't want to work to begin with. Right. Yeah. So we have to. And that was what I was getting ready to say. Oh, really? You, know what I'm you just have to back that because I know for yeah, none. Nobody on this screen is the type to be like, I, I'm just not gonna work. Even if we had the option to not work, I don't think any of us would be like, we're not gonna work. Right. I don't know. I think Ashley might actually look like she might. <laughs> well, I, I will say this. I will say this because I've been wrestling with certain things because I, I feel like I want to retire at forty, and I was like, what is retiring at forty? Which is in five years. And I'm like. I don't, I think I'm still going to be one of those people that I'm not going to Walmart, you know, I ain't going to be a greeter, but I still feel like I'm going to be dibbling and dabbling in some things. Do something. Yeah, something. Yeah. So I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't think I, I know I couldn't be a housewife. I know I couldn't. Or a stay at home mom. I know I couldn't. <laughs> I'm still going to have an office. I'm still going to be doing shit. And then, but I'm going to have nannies and a maid or something, you know, but. So I can have that time for my children and for my man when he want to come home and just, you know, watch the game or something. Even though I don't know what the fuck going on on TV, I'm just still cut it up with him, you know, give him some some personal time and stuff like that. But I don't know. I couldn't. I don't, I don't even know what that is. I've never even seen a housewife before. Well, I've seen some, but I don't know. I mean, I've heard of them. <laughs> yeah, I know. Like, like real life housewife. In 1930. I mean, you got to be making a lot of money if you want to have a chick that don't work because, I mean, you're supporting everything. you feeding everybody, clothing everybody, doing everything. I don't know. I've, I've, I know a couple of people who, um, women who are married that don't, they don't work and their husbands make all the money. And like this one woman that I know, like she had, they have two kids together and they're younger kids, um, probably like, I don't know, five, six or something like that. And I mean, of course, I don't know people's household, but it doesn't seem like she's like the woman that's even though like, of course, she's cooking and cleaning and taking care of the household like she's, you know, she'll do something every now and then. Like she'll start a new hobby and she's doing this right now. And, you know, I feel like uh, it's not as much like as like, Mary I feel Kay like Avon. Yeah, uh, something like that. Or paparazzi woman. Yeah. So I feel like even like today in times, it's not really like no income whatsoever. Yeah, like sit home and just cook, clean, run around with the kids. Like I feel like housewives now they're doing, you know, the cooking and cleaning. You know how much that dude is making? Um, I mean, I don't know, but I don't think it's like crazy money. Like I don't think it's crazy money. They live a, a pretty good life. I mean, it's not like they have it's like definitely the, possible. You know, biggest you know, things going on, but they live. Yeah. They live comfortably. They yeah. live comfortably. They don't have to worry about anything. Their kids are well taken care of. You know, he literally comes and gives her his paycheck. Like you, be, she. He comes home, give her his paycheck, let her pay the bills, and whatever monies is left, 
she would give, okay, well, this is what was left. You get this, and this is what I'm going to do with the rest of it, like that type of thing. So literally, she's masterminding everything, taking care of the household, letting him do whatever. But she's her. doing, you know, things herself. And like I said, it seems to work for them. Like I said, it, it seems like they're, you know, they don't have no worries. I mean, they, they can go where they want. They buy what they want. And it's not, you know, anything like, I don't think she feels like a housewife in a traditional sense. Like, I just got to sit home and take care of the kids like she has a life outside of doing that she just doesn't clock I into see where Ken Campbell said those women or men are the ones that step out the most I will say this right here um how sorry I have heard a lot like listen to other podcasts and people calling in and stuff whatever those women aren't fulfilled they aren't happy they feel like oh I had a career then I got married and I had kids and it just made more sense we saved thousands of dollars if I was the primary caregiver but I want to go back to school I want to be a nurse I want to be this I want to be so Loki those women housewives aren't happy like no not at all they're not happy they bored they're bored I, mean, not, I don't want to say bored <laughs> because they have plenty of things to do it's just not like what Whitney was saying about hobbies and stuff, like they still trying to find something to grasp and hold on to, like even if they just get out the house from around the kids or the husband, even if it is to go set up to sell paparazzi, even if it is to go to the YMCA or the gym or something. And honestly, you can I be think busy and be bored. The hardest, that's that's true. the hardest job want. is being a, a housewife because you gotta, yeah, you gotta stay up, you gotta still be fine, you gotta still, you gotta do a that's lot a of stuff. You gotta, I think it is harder being like a wife versus being like the girlfriend or something like that like you have to constantly make sure your household is in order it's different when you're just dating you got your apartment over here he got his apartment or house over here and hey y'all see each other on the weekends or come by I cook let's go to the move, whatever but when y'all in one household and now you like okay now we got to maintain the structure you are on go like you gotta have a report card and also another thing with um being a housewife and stuff uh, I need an allowance. <laughs> I need an allowance. Like, I want a certain amount of money that I need every week. If, like, if I was to do something like that, you know. See, that's why you got to have your own money. And TJ had, once, TJ had said in the comments, he said he can't imagine a one-income household. It's like you're already one downsize from being homeless. And, <laughs> hey, and I mean, I don't know about one downside from being homeless, but yeah, if you're If banking, it was a pandemic, probably if you're i mean outside of like pandemic stuff i mean yeah if you're like the sole provider like you know if anything happens to that one person and the other person is not working like yeah that's going to create uh a lot of problems you know finances and, and relationships and marriages are a big deal so yeah I, I believe like if you only have one person who's making all the money then you know you're going to be in trouble if something happens, especially yeah, if they're not doing it. hard nowadays, especially depending on where you live. Like, that's not possible unless you're in a different tax bracket. Absolutely. I think, um, I, I think, I think uh, that's if not possible. Guy, if, if he make it what he make, then just let the woman work part time. That way, that part time money, that's the extra money. That's like the, the savings, money, like the just in case shit, you know, um, the vacation stuff. Like, just let her work part time from home, turn a bedroom into an office, you know things like that it's possible but um so the manifesting love challenge like guys y'all feel like that's just women writing out this list of saying they want to upgrade their lifestyle by using you guys or what let's to an extent yeah okay and i feel like she was telling people to act your wage you know yeah. what i'm saying like live live within your means date within your means now if you're blessed with somebody who's has all of those qualities. I mean, I'm, there has been plenty of women. There's been, well, I ain't gonna say that, but there's been, there's been plenty of, of opportunities where that has been had to where they've upgraded them because they had a connection. And he's like, you know, I want to bring you with me. I already have all of this. But I think it's just, based, a lot of people are just blinded by society and blinded by the, the, the very small chance that that can happen when you don't possess those qualities yourself. Like that, I can't remember what that man says, that savage dude, that be talking to the men and women. Kevin, and I, don't, saying, I, don't, like, I don't want to. I don't want to mention. I don't want to mention his name up here. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. He uh, on one video. Though. On one oh, video. Wait, like, I don't want to mention his name up here because I. I don't. I mean, I want the podcast to get attention. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> but I don't want to get tore down. I don't want to be like, yeah, that's no, no, no. Me. And I was just, I, I, just, I was agreeing with him. I was just saying that he he was talking to. He asked a woman on one video. What is it that you want in a man? Yeah, I'm so. And she she listed all of these 
unrealistic things. She want him to make six figures. She want him to drive they a big house and a nice car. Figures. And he was like, and he was like, so uh, where you work? Like, she you? couldn't like she couldn't answer that. And he's like, you really expect a man? He not even gonna want you if you don't got something going for yourself. Like all these looks were just once you get 40, 50, that's going away. You know what I'm saying? That's basically what I was agreeing with. Like you, you, yeah. a lot of women, they based off of this, like I'm fine. I can get a man with money, boo. But it's like, when you turn a certain age, what else are you bringing to me? They, and that's what a lot of men with money, financially stable men, men that already got stuff going for themselves. They're looking for that in a mate. Like, what can you bring? So what, here? wait a minute. So, so we on that day, I didn't mean to cut you off, but while we on that, I know it's always really all the time. It's like women, it's always women who have like, I don't want to say who have the standards, but they always make it known of the things that they're looking for. And every time they say, look, these are the things we're looking for. We want this unrealistic or not. That's what they say that they want. And it's always got like, oh, no, you know, we can't do that. Or, you know, that's Jared. <laughs> <laughs> I can't with you. <laughs> Y'all Why? <might> <laughs> Like they say, like, you know, like you just mentioned, like a, a well-established guy who already has money or whatever, he's looking like, what can you bring to the table? So not just looking to her to say, what can you bring? Like say, oh, I can bring this, I can bring that. What are you looking for? Like, what are you looking for somebody to bring to the to the table as opposed to saying, you tell me all the things that you can bring and I'm going to tell you yes or no if that ain't what I'm looking for. Like what type of things? There's that absolutely no. I very, oh. I very rarely hear I mean, sometimes I do, but I feel like it's kind of very vague. It's very vague when when I hear guys mention, you know, they, they want somebody, you know, like you said, you got to be bringing something to the table. Well, what does bringing something to the table look like for a guy when he's looking for a, a partner? Guys for, list aren't that for big. Me, like, for me, we guy. don't. All she got to do is look good even not always. That's about it. That's it. <laughs> Okay, first see, of all, that's no. what I'm saying. Uh -huh. That's what I'm saying. Because no. I don't care how that, fine you are. If you're not mentally stable, you we got to talk. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't care how fine you are. My, well, just just talking you'll put up, like, you, Daniel, you'll put up with it for a little bit. Don't act like you wouldn't. You'll put I up mean, with it for a little first bit. first couple of days, but it's just like, you come at me with a knife, like, we got to talk. <laughs> Why? Oh, ain't no talking. We, we out. We done. <laughs> we out. A knife? I, I, I think, man, <laughs> I think it's vague because... I don't know. This is for me. Like, I don't know exactly precisely what I'm looking for until I find it. That makes sense. So that's the reason why it's more so like not necessarily what specifically are you bringing to the table, but like we're looking to see if the qualities that you have, are they compatible with my qualities? Are they compatible? Like, are, are we compatible in that area? That's just the, the way that I look at it. Let Does that make sense? Let me, let me say this real quick. Uh, I'm going to use myself as an example. I got two men up here. Y'all can help me out. I want to flip it a little bit, but also kind of touch on what Daniel was saying. Um, first off, the manifestation of love or whatever, people do vision boards all the time for like their life and their goals and things that they want. Yeah. So I can't low-key think that the manifesting love is kind of like a vision board for what you want in a man. I'm going to say that. Now, the other side of that I want to say is... um. I kind of feel like I got my life together. If we go by the Kevin Samuels guy, I know if he, if he raped me, I know my one thing that I need to change. You know, I, I know what I need to do, you know, or two things, or whatever. But, okay, so what people tell, what y'all guys tell women like me and Courtney and Whitney is that we need to give guys a chance, right? You never know. You just got to give them a chance. You got to, so... I have a lot of things going on for myself, but I don't boast and brag about it until it's time for me to do that. So am I supposed to give? Because y'all, we talking about the value of uh, the guy, the girl wants a six-figure guy, but the guy, he's nowhere, or the girl's nowhere near that. Her account is in the negative. So now let's use me. I'm good. I'm, I'm straight. So am I supposed to talk to the guy that um, is Absolutely on Absolutely not. Absolutely but, not. But That's the thing that Whitney was saying. Always beat this up about what? we need to give a guy a chance. You need to. You never know where it's going to go. Like right now, I'm talking to a guy who doesn't have a car. He keeps talking about not working for the white man, but he's an entrepreneur. But yeah, I respect that. There you go. Don't work for the white man. 
<laughs> I knew Jerry was about to say so. He ain't working for the white I'm man. Playing. He's actually working for a Hispanic man, actually. So, hey, man. Okay. And I'm like, you're not an entrepreneur if you're still having to go to this person and they're paying you money, cash money under the table. Then he has two children with two different moms. And he mm-hmm. clearly don't like them, you know, because they're bees, as according to him. Like, he just got a lot. And then he doesn't have a permanent place to stay. Every time we FaceTime, he's at a different family member or relative's house. And so I'm like, but he does That have situation money. is different. Well, that situation have- is more so. This is good qualities. <sighs> okay. One thing that really attracted me, not like physically or whatever, but he's a, a man's man. He's a hands-on guy. Like, he, he like do shit like right if, if the world was the crumble or whatever like he'd be out there chopping wood he know how to fix shit like he know how to do that like he hunt how he's old is he 30 oh yeah and that's nothing he's 30 and no he, and he's really no. a great he's Actually, really somebody a, else said run eric said run no <laughs> i mean no. if he's he not no. if, like he don't have no place to live like he's he don't got no place to stay i mean the thing is okay so <laughs> he's I a hotel like, Cause, Cause, he was saying, I was like, well, "Where do you live at?" He was saying, "He was saying, like, I don't know if y'all seen Greenleaf. It's kind of low key Greenleaf. Yeah, I see, kind of yeah. Like, it's a family estate. Like, they have a like his grandma had thirteen kids, and so of course the kids had kids. So it's a big family like that. So the house that he's staying in is six rooms, and he stays in one of the rooms. But he clearly something happened because every time he called me, because I keep putting him on the block list, because I told him we're not compatible or whatnot." But uh, he calls me for, he tricked me, he called me for a different number. And he's always at somebody else's house. And I'm like, where you at now? But I try not to go into that because I know black men already have a lot going on in society. So you don't need a stranger like me uh, saying, why you ain't got this? Right? Like nagging him, you know, because we always get accused of nagging somebody. So my thing is like, I was told what, well, maybe you should give, his cousin said, give my cousin a chance. You're the type of woman that he needs to help him get on his feet. And that, that offended uh, me. That offended me because I'm like, can I Why say something I real quick? Do that? Okay, go I'll save him. Can I say something real quick? Sure. Um, I my only opinion on that is more so. You know all this about him mm-hmm. already. That is his chance. But the thing is, where do you, it? I think when people say give him a chance, is if a man is if a man or woman is not where they want to be in life, and they know they're not where they want to be in life and you see them trying to make a better life, then there's a difference. Unless you just, you know, just staying stagnant. Then it's like, okay, how long have you been doing this? How long have you been not wanting to work for the white man? How long have you been? So my whole thing is not necessarily giving him a chance as far as dating him. My thing is have those difficult conversations. And if he can't answer those conversations, then you'll be able to see like, okay, you don't got nothing going for yourself. Because it's just like me. Like I I don't, I'm not where I want to be in life. But there's one thing that nobody can ever take away from me is the fact that I'm trying to make a better life. And you will be able to plainly see without me telling you I'm trying to make a better life. You'll be able to plainly see that I'm trying. And the ambition is there. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? He does get, because he's a a black cowboy. And I would have never believed him. Oh, you start, oh, okay, yeah. I I would have never believed him until... (laughs) Until I saw this show called Yellow Yellowstone or Yellow Yes Yellowstone, so I've been on the phone like I got like screenshots, you know, just you know he do he's a a, a handler like a, a a ranch handler or whatever like he feed the horses he train the horse he do stuff like that so he does do shit that I would never anticipate somebody doing like he does that but because I'm a business minded person I'm like. Yo, you can you can do this yourself, like still work for them, but have your side gig. But he's so angry and so mad at the world, like he won't listen. Cause he's now he's at a different cousin's house. And so when we was talking this morning, they was like, I was trying to ask him about I was asking him about something. And he just flipped out. And I was like, Oh, I can't do this. Cause I like peace and blessings. Like my life is amazing. And like arguing over the phone I'm like you're not about to give me no stroke or no heart attack or nothing and so his his, his, his it was just can I ask you something sure so I remember when we were talking when you were telling me about this not on this but when you were telling me about this I remember you saying the hands-on thing <laughs> no I got no cowboy fetish <laughs> <laughs> sorry so, Cole, go um, ahead. 
what's it called? Um, I remember you telling me about the hands-on thing, but I do not remember you saying any other qualities, like good qualities about him. So I was wondering, was that the only thing that attracted you to him? The hands-on, um, I do feel like he got a good work ethic, but like I just know he got. You... Go ahead. I know he has anger issues because like it, when it went when it boiled down to it, because his mom died when he was younger. And so he was like, oh, she was the black sheep of the family. Now I'm the black sheep of the family. And I'm like, because I'm, I'm, I think you're 30. Like, you should have something. Because even if a parent That's dies, if, you, if a parent dies, that should make you go harder. That should make that you, was. like, do what the fuck you need to do. Because you, because mm -hmm. most of the time people do take the insurance money. You know, family do take insurance money. So you may not talk to those families. But I, I there's just no excuse. But I just hate the fact that people always telling women, we need to give these guys a chance when they're, they're not even on your level. And then if I say, and I, I said, I said, listen, in the nicest way possible, I said, we're not compatible. I need you. We're just not. And so his family was like, that's exactly. You need to help him do this. And I can help him. I could help him because I said, with the, during the summer, I want to bring the, the horses down to Marion and, you know, have children do what they need to do. You know, I could help him, but I don't even want to do business with the nigga no more. Yeah, hey, Eric, Eric said something I that I was saying. This is the reason why I asked you how old he was. Was Eric. the simple fact that the Negro is thirty years old, and this is his status. And I feel like that take that 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 takes a a, a big toll because if you at some at some age in life, like you got to know, like you got to do what you got to do before you got to do what you yeah. want to do. You know what I'm saying? So, like, if, you, if you're if you not mature enough to have that mindset, then you don't need, he doesn't deserve a woman of your caliber. You know what I'm saying? That's why people in the chat is saying you need to run. Like, you 30 years old, bro. Like, you 30 years old. And you still, like, and, and it's, everybody has their situations. But you 30 years old. What are you doing about it? That's yeah. the reason why I'm at, I asked you, what does he have? Does he have something going for himself? Rather, I don't care if you go with hands. What are you doing to make that, to, to make that your business? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You what are you doing to make the fact if you can't afford you know to you know, exactly. have a place to live and stuff? No, you if you can't can afford yourself, you know, I couldn't pick him up. And that's a he's in man, he's like no. he's in like Hilton Head. Like he's like I said, no, baby, that's that's like six no. hours, three you, hours, you need six to be alone hours. And get his stuff together before no. he deals with chicks. No. Yeah, like no. Jared said, you got to, you got to, I mean, you, if you, if you're in that situation, like, if, like, like Daniel said, everybody has their things that they're going through, but that's when you really got to look at yourself. Like, if you have those things going on, do you really need to be worrying about trying to add somebody? Because I, th I think yeah. sometimes people fail to realize when you're talking to somebody and bringing them into your world, <laughs> like... You need to have yourself together. Like that's not just saying you just talking to somebody and they're gonna come <laughs> in. And save the day. No, you got to do more than that. No, ain't no pressure. Uh, TJ, TJ Taylor said, "I feel like you're reaching with these good qualities just to make excuses for him." I didn't no. want to say it. I didn't want to say it. But <laughs> this, he, yeah, this the uh, thing. This is the thing. I do. I do look at things like that because I am um what they call a prepper. Like I looking out if Jared comes back because we lost him. Ain't it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, I am a prepper. Like, I believe in, like, you know, having preparation. Like, I do believe, like, if something was to happen in the world, like, you, because I'm, I'm not one of those type of women. I'm not a feminist. I'm not one of those type of women. But, oh, women, we're equal. We can do everything a man can do. No, the fuck we cannot, because I'm not cutting no grass. I'm not breaking no yard. I'm not, I'm not doing that stuff, you know. I, ha I have a landscaper. For I just want to point out that But I was about to say, it. like, just because, just because. <laughs> what you say, Courtney? So I just want to point out that doesn't mean women can't do it. That just means Ashley ain't going to do it. Granted, I ain't going to cut uh, you guys. Sorry. Right, absolutely. But like I said, I'm not a feminist. I'm not one of those women that say women can do everything a man can do. We can. Physically, we can. And I, I just use simple stuff that's related to me, like cutting grass and stuff. Like, who climbing up a tree? Who going to be a, a hanging line? Stuff? When you pass by a road construction, do you see women out there? You see men. You know, but so mean there's no women that are not in uh, road construction, right? But who's out there? Men. All right, so let's nasty see what... in this chat. I just want to say that y'all nasty. <laughs> uh, yeah, chat. I want to address that. Like, <laughs> I will. I will say he has been trying, and he, Lord knows, he was trying. He was like, "You just need." I don't know why guys think I just need a little bit of dick. You know, I don't. I'm good. You know, they be trying, but anyway. Let's go on. Yes, Eric, uh, I agree with that, Eric. 
I always would say? agree with that. He said physically, no, but women will always be superior beings. Yeah, I agree. And I will right. always, I will always agree with that. I will always agree with that. Just the simple fact that I can't take childbirth. I can tell you that now. I get a paper cut and want to cry. You know what I'm saying? Like I can't, <laughs> I can't take the pain that y'all can endure, and no man can take the pain that y'all can endure. You know what I'm saying? So like y'all will always be superior. Oh, I definitely agree with that. Shook. Listen, I listen. That's more of an after darts type of conversation because I actually did converse with Courtney. Know about this? I actually did converse with a guy. Who the finger in the movie? Like he like, <laughs> you know. Okay, yeah, that's after hours. Yeah, that's after hours. You know. So let's let's that move on to a uh, topic number four. I don't think we're gonna get to five. So there is back, but he's still connecting. I think. Right. Okay. So, <laughs> all right. Topic number four, which is, can we take rejection? Do you be like, okay, that's fine. 